All right, so I want to talk about how you read an image. And this is really the core of how I find inspiration. So when I'm talking about reading an image, I'm really relating this back to my English background, loving literature, things like that. You know, I was always the person that would, you know, pull random meanings from books, even though nobody else saw those meanings and symbolism in the book. And that's because I just love to find inspiration wherever I can. It might not actually be there. It might not be intended to be there from the author, but I'm going to find it and I'm going to write about it and I'm going to draw my own conclusions from it. So these are the themes, um, the settings, the wardrobe, the props, the colors. This is what I'm thinking about when I create an image. So I'm thinking about color very, very specifically. I'm thinking about props. I'm thinking about the wardrobe. Um, I'm thinking about what kind of locations I'm going to use, and obviously the themes. So these are the things that I'm going to break down and show you how I use these categories to find inspiration. So what I do is I start with a single category. I'll try color first, and I write down any words that come to my mind for 30 seconds to a minute. And I'm just writing down completely random colors. It might not be what I like to shoot. It might not be colors that I enjoy. But I'm writing it down whatever comes to my mind. Because if you think about it, whatever's in your mind, you know, that's on your mind for a reason. So get in touch with that. Write it all out. See where your mind's at. And then from there, take that as inspiration. See if you can challenge yourself. So I'll explain this more as we go. But I do the same for props. So here I have rope, leaves, cat. Cats are great props if you've never tried before. Um, my cats especially, they hate me, but they love me. Um, so they pose for about five minutes and then they're done. Uh, wigs, boats, I mean, whatever you want to be inspired by, whatever prop you can think of. And I have a tendency to stare around the room and say, okay, I see a chair and a piece of luggage and then I'll write all that stuff down. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter, there are no rules. Wardrobe, um, antique dress, nightgown, uh, boots, letterman jacket, cloak. Why I wrote letterman jacket down, I don't know. I would never, ever photograph that. Um, but you never know what that's going to inspire. You know, maybe I see the word jacket written down and I think, oh, well, maybe I'd like to, you know, have a, a big coat in a winter storm or, you know, what can you do with that to find inspiration? And then setting, forest, hills, restaurant, hotel, bedroom. Now, I'm writing down these locations, and I might not have any access to them. You know, I might say, well, I don't know of a restaurant that I can go do a photo shoot in. Who cares? That doesn't mean that you can't find one. That doesn't mean that one isn't available to you. I try never to limit myself by what I have available. So, you know, I might be looking around and say, well, I can shoot in my bedroom, and I know that I have this dress that I could use. Yeah, I could do that, and that could be fun for a little while, but if that's all you ever do, then you're just going to hit a roadblock and you're never gonna move past it. So try to challenge yourself. Try to find different locations and things that you can you know, be freshly inspired by. And then theme. I'm, I'm very predictable with my themes at this point. I know what I like. So I'm writing down things like fairy tales, Alice in Wonderland, um, good versus evil, uh, modern woman. That's not one of my themes. I just wrote it down because I thought of it. Who knows what I could do with it? Um, so you just saw my portfolio. You can probably guess that I would never photograph a modern woman. But that doesn't mean that I can't take somebody and put her in the most modern headpiece or hat that's available and then mix that with something old. Who knows what I could do with it? So what I do is I have those categories written out. I have all of my random words written down. And then I go through and I circle one word from each category, whichever one excites me the most. It's not necessarily what goes together. It doesn't have to be what I, what I love to shoot. But it's the thing that I am drawn to the most on that particular day. So last time I did this exercise, which was, I guess, two months ago, um, this is what I wrote down. I had purple as my color. I wrote down my cat as my prop because I love using my cat, little Fiona. You'll see her in a second. Um, I chose a nightgown because I was really excited to do something that was sort of um, old and vintage and something that would just call upon innocence and childhood. Um, my bedroom I used as a setting, and then my theme was Alice in Wonderland. So this is how I put that together. A girl in a purple nightgown walking on the ceiling of her bedroom with her orange cat as though she has fallen down the rabbit hole.